Hello, welcome to Angie's Creative Studio. I'm Angie. Today we are going to do a sign in our little mixed media book that says be grateful, grateful and trust God. And that is so true. We need to be grateful for all the things we have and, and the help that God has given us. Although sometimes I'm wondering about my health, but anyways. We are going to use this little saying, and I'm going to trace this onto my pad once I get it, get it all like I want it. And I'm using acrylics today. I'm using my raw Wang Nickel acrylics. And I'm going in with um, my bar um, as a background. And I'm hopefully this is going to come out like I want it to. I'm going to get a pretty good size brush here. And I'm using uh, the Fine Touch Flat uh, number 16. And I'm just using an 8.5 by 5.5. And, and it's the Art Street Mixed Media that you can pick up at Walmart. And I'm just going in and painting the whole thing brown. Or brown um, brown, whatever, if you want to call it brown, go for it. And y'all don't pay no attention to my nails. I am not. I had pretty nails for Christmas, and then I, I had a, a French tips, and then I started painting. And messing them all up. And then I painted them. And well. I need to take the paint off. Or the nail polish off. And this don't have to be perfect. Trust me. Because we're going to put another coat over it. And this may not come out like I want it to. If not y'all won't see it. I'm not used to these big old handle brushes. We may have to have just a tad more of this. We'll just get a little bit darker. Oh. One good thing about acrylics, you can uh, dry it with the heat gun or a hair dryer. And I'm going to here in a minute because I don't want this to transform. Okay. And make sure you always clean your brushes when you get done with acrylics. Because if they dry, if acrylics dries on your brushes, you just pretty well rent your brush. Okay. So I'm going to use the heat gun to dry this. And Acrylics does dry pretty easily for the most part. Oh, hi.
I've got that all dried. Now I'm going to mix up some yellow ochre. And some white. And this is a um, zinc, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to put a little bit more white than probably needs to be. Get my little knife. I'm not used to working in these wells, so y'all just bear with me. Now I'm going to take a dry brush and I'm taking a 20 of the fine touch and I'm going to just brush it on. If the brown shows, that's fine. I just want it to look antique -y. Just like so. So yeah, most people didn't think you could do this with paper, did you? Now I'm keeping it in my book. Now if you want to, you can, you know, frame it. You can even do this big one. I mean, whatever, you know, it's up to you all. This is just the size I'm doing. I'm just wanting to fill a book with quotes where I can sit it on my desk when when I need to look at a good quote and be able to do, you know, I mean, that's my idea. I'm going to stick that in there. I'm going to do this just a little bit darker. It will match. Okay, I'm cleaning my brush. And I'm going to use the heat gun again. Okay, to transform my image onto my paper, I am going to use transform paper. Let me see if I can find a sheet. I should have already had it gathered up, but I didn't. And a pencil. Now, to sit this like you want it, my advice is to tape it because sometimes it is very hard for it to come off and especially with you working on paper or canvases because you have to press so hard down and just like so mm -hmm. and I'm real good about using transform paper y'all It may not be exactly the same because I am pushing so hard that it's
Now, if you've got a Cricut, you can do it with the Cricut. You can print these out with a Microsoft Word or Google Word or Google Docs. Um, or if you find one you like online, and just copy it. As long as you ain't selling them. Yeah, that's coming through. By the hair of my teeny teen teen. Okay, when I start tracing, I know I get quiet. to see. I know y'all cannot see that whatsoever because I barely can see it. And now we, I'm going in with just the, my black uh, acrylic paint. Make sure I get enough. And I am going in with a small round brush. And when I say small, well, I'm number eight. Well, I probably need the smaller one than that. Let's try six. Oh, this one's gonna be yeah. sticking out. Let's see what I can do with this. Okay. And to do this, you've got to get your water kind of like an ink systems. And then I'm just going in and tracing my lines. And we may have to go over it a couple times because this.
Y'all, if y'all can see this, y'all doing better than I am. I'm going to have to hold this up for a minute. Uh, yeah, I'm just guessing on this because I'm just I can't see it, but I did good, but. I did it. I see bits and pieces of it. Enough to give me what I need to look. I got to figure out a better way of doing this. And I'm just going back over what I've done to make sure it's and you know I know a lot of the people I mean I may included I'm not as grateful as I should be for the things I have people in my life you know it's We've, all of us has got, well, we just, we expect it. That ain't the best it could be. I hope, hopefully y'all's turns out better than mine. Y'all have a blessed day and be grateful and trust in God. If nothing else, trust in God. God knows what's going on more than anybody in your life. 
and he has a plan for you whether we believe it or not he does have a plan for us have a blessed day subscribe below and i'll catch y'all next time bye